Kia ora, Root Kleinposters, my name the Bugman, and welcome to Backyard Buggin. I want to show you this really amazing web. Have a look at that. This spider made the web under this piece of bark, and it has an exit and a complete tunnel system inside this whole web. It probably took a year to make. It's the New Zealand native tunnel web spider. This web is made from silk that is really strong and it is very taut, so it feels hard and solid. At the end of this tunnel lives the spider. It's got this whole web here going with a trampoline at the front and in the back lives this spider with its legs holding onto the silk. And if there is a little insect walking on the trampoline and on the silk, the vibrations go through the silk right to the back of the tunnel and the spider can tell from the vibrations whether that's a friend, a foe, maybe a lover, somebody you can have some fun with, or food. Oh, there she is. Eight really hairy legs and a brown orangey thorax. That's where all the muscles are. Two little spinnerets right here at her bottom end. That's how she made all this silk with the spinnerets to make it all smooth and come out as one white web. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could learn something from this spider? It's been here for millions of years and it's using silk, which is two times as strong as steel, as a telephone wire to totally make sense of its surroundings. She knows who's at the front door. It reminds me a little bit of what we did when we were young with two tin cans and a rope in between and you could have discussions, talk to each other and the vibrations travel through the other can. There's lots of little things you can do to become a spider and communicate with others.